Code Africa. Unlock the future. Yeah, hello and welcome back to Code Africa. A very quick one. In this episode, we are looking at how to install bootcam drivers on any operating system, be Windows 7, 8, 10, 11. Okay, so maybe you run Windows 10 on your Mac and you are finding a way how to install the bootcam drivers. Maybe you might try any means possible, but it might not work for you. This simple proceeding will help you to resolve the issue without going through any stress. Okay, so without much I do, let's dive in. All right, so first and foremost, make sure you have your bootcamp drivers on your machine. Okay, make sure you download it. If you don't have it downloaded, open your browser and just type the model of your machine. Just type the model number and you are good to go. The first one that will come, so you just download that first one and you are good. Okay, so this version is 12A1278, okay, uh, Apple 2010. Apple will not allow us to install the bootcamp drivers on our machine. Let's try it first. So you can see, even if you want to install, we have to run Windows 7 before you be permitted. Okay. So we are going to find a way out to install it anyway. Okay. So this is what this video is about. All right. So what do you do now that we have our bootcamp downloaded? Let's see what to do. Okay. So we come to drivers and come to Apple. Okay. So here we have our 32 bits here and the 64 bits here. All right, so we are running on, on 64 bits. So what we do is right click on it and come to troubleshoot compatibility. Okay, let's troubleshoot it and see the issues that we are having first before we dive in. All right, so we can see the issues that we are having here. So let's go straight to the points and hit on this one. Let's test the program and we can see we we cannot still do anything about it. Okay, so click OK and finish. Now come to next. And let's save it. Okay, save the settings. Let's save it. All right, now that it is saved, let's close it. Okay, here you can close everything. Now we are going to use the privileges that we will have from the CMD, which is the command line interface to uh, work it out, okay, together. So let's see how we do it. All right, so you can click on your Winky key, then you type CMD, right click on it, at this point, you need an external mouse in order to have your right, your right click working since the bootcamp is not installed yet. Okay, so you right click on it and run as administrator. You go yes. All right, so we are going to cd to the directory that we are in. Okay, so you just type cd here, space. Now come here, come to your bootcamp drivers where you have it. This is what I wanted to do. Come here, the top here come here and copy this copy this link here okay that's the, the root directory of where your drivers are okay so you copy this one copy everything then you come back to your your command line yeah so now you paste it you can use Control v to paste it or you can right click and paste it or you can come here and come to edit then you can paste it from here okay all right now hit enter okay so now that we are in here the next thing that we have to do is to come to the file that we want to install. Okay, we come to that file. It's here. There's it. Okay, the 64 bits. If you are running on 32 bits, you can use this one. Okay, but we are running on 64 bits, so you go by this one. So you right click and copy it. Okay, copy. You come back and let's paste it. Now, after you paste this one, there's the hack. Okay, after pasting, don't hit enter. Okay, add this code. Okay, dot. MSI add dot MSI. Now you can hit enter. Now you can see at first we are not having the privileges to install it, but with this one we have been able to hack in and now we are having access to install our bootcamp drivers as you can see. So we are good to go. Just wait for it to finish the installation. It will take a while, but wait for it to finish. All right, now we can see that it has successfully finished. Okay, so you can click on the finish and you can close everything 
uh, you are required to restart your machine before you see it functioning okay but we are not going to do that for now i want to show you something before we, we go okay so now you can close it all right so to see if bootcamp has been really installed on your machine you can come to you can search for control panel and inside the control panel here you can search for bootcamp and you can see bootcamp is here as far as you see this bootcamp here it means that the drivers have been successfully installed and you are good to go so by the time that you restart your machine you can see that everything will be working your keyboard light everything will be working including your wi-fi and everything all right so this is the simple trick on how you can install bootcamp on any operating system being windows 7 from windows 7 to windows 11 you are good to go okay all right so if you find this video helpful just hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to like and share as well all right so till we meet again take care and have fun thank you